Properties of enantiomers. So you know what are enantiomers? These are non-superimposable mirror images. This is one chiral center. These are non-superimposable mirror images, and that's are known as enantiomers. So enantiomers have enantiomers have same chemical properties as well as physical properties. Except two, two physical properties are different. Can you guess? First is mode of rotation. You know, one form is D, then other form is L. One is dextrorotatory, so second is levorotatory. So first is mode of rotation. They are equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. And second is rate of reaction or rate constant. When D plus optically active compound, they react and the rate constant, let us take K1. And L form react with again optically active compound, its rate is K2. Then K1 can never be equal to K2. They differ, but if D and L form react with optically inactive compound, the rate constant are same. Means there is no difference in rate of reaction of D and L form with optically inactive compound. But if D and L forms react with optically active molecule, then their rate constants are different the rate of reactions are different so that is the basic properties of enantiomers properties of diastereomers so one type of diastereomers we have already covered that is cis and trans their physical properties are entirely different in case of diastereomers containing chiral center these two are non superimposable mirror images so they are enantiomers but one is a meso compound because it has plane of symmetry it's a meso compound they are enantiomers d form and l form now one and two and one and three they are pair of diastereomers now in these pairs, there is no mirror image relations, their structures are also different. So their physical properties like refractive index, solubility, melting point, boiling point, they all differ. Even they differ in chemical properties to some extent, but because their functional groups are same, so their chemical properties are not too dissimilar. And as diastereomers have different solubility, they can be easily separated by fractional crystallization. And because of slight difference in their shape, they can be separated by chromatograph.